Hi guys. It is a gray, gloomy, soon to be stormy. It is a it is a Wednesday here and the collapse of global industrial civilization here on Wednesday, August 18th, 2021 and uh, before the next flash flood watch or warning comes roaring through the Finger Lakes, I want to uh, give my humble thanks to the rain gods for uh, bringing me this bounty out of uh, the garden and I'm gonna see uh, if, if you guys understand. I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm always doing videos uh, with subterfuge, not exactly ulterior motives but just dropping a hint that there were other ways to live. And uh, every bit of this bounty was grown on less than, well, not counting the two ears of corn, and I have 2,000 ears of corn coming in over the next week or two. Uh, not counting the cornfield, uh, everything else here you could grow on an area 30 feet by 70. 70 by 30 feet. You could grow every bit of this that I did. And uh, so you can decide what that has to do with these two stories. I'm going to uh, see if you can figure out for yourself drawing the dots between uh, the bounty of homegrown organic veggies here in front of you in these two stories. Okay, uh, right off the mainstream media today, uh, which one shall we start with? Well, let's start with Bitcoin. Several versions of this story on the mainstream media today. If Bitcoin bulls are right, environmental damage would be disastrous. Yes. If Bitcoin bulls are right and the coin's price reaches a price of $500,000, there could be dire consequences for the environment. According to a Tuesday report in Fortune, Bitcoin's quote, notorious carbon footprint may inexorably increase if its price were to grow as many proponents expect it to do. Bitcoin miners now, right now, purpur purportedly create as much CO2, quote, as the nation of Greece will spew multiple times more matching the emissions of far larger industrial nations, close quote. Um, admittedly, numerous efforts are being made to make Bitcoin greener. Yes, arguably, arguably spurred by Tesla dropping its support for the coin over environmental impact concerns. I'm so glad to see the billionaire with, is it eight children? Elon Musk, uh, a billionaire with eight children, concerned about the environmental impacts of Bitcoin. <clears throat> anyway, still, per the report, quote, unless Bitcoin goes green in the biggest of ways, it's built-in economics guarantee that as, as its price soars, the tonnage of carbon dioxide it gushes will rock it too, close quote. Okay, if Bitcoin's price were to rise to say $100,000 by Christmas of 2024, on the year when Bitcoin's production will be cut in half to reduce inflation, the size of the mining industry would expand by around 8% and generate around 8% more CO2 than today. If it were to hit $500,000 by 2024 or even a couple of years later, the industry would grow from today's $16 billion to $86 billion. 
Such growth would result in miners, in Bitcoin miners, spending a total of $52 billion for power in three or more years with an estimated um, average cost of $40 per megawatt hour. Consequently, the Bitcoin mining industry would be pumping 1.3 billion megawatts of electricity every year and the network is currently estimated to emit 475 grams of CO2 for each megawatt of power deployed. If that were to hold true, Bitcoin at $500,000 would be emitting 617 million metric tons of carbon per year. Such a carbon footprint would be beyond enormous. It would be larger than Australia's by 56%, Brazil's by 40%, South Africa's by 40%, and Mexico's by 33%. The Bitcoin network would be emitting 70% more carbon than the United Kingdom and approach Germany's emissions of 696 million tons. Lastly, Bitcoin alone would be producing an astonishing 12% of the CO2 that the United States produces. There you go. And uh, guys, I, I, as you and I both know, there are people, colleagues right down here in the Doomosphere, gladly accepting Bitcoin every day as payment. Uh, and, and before I, I do the hypocritical call on hypocrisy to my colleagues in the, in, in, uh, in the Doomosphere, if anybody out there listening, has any Bitcoin they want to send me, okay? Make no mistake about it, Collapse Chronicles will gladly accept Bitcoin or any other kind of cryptocurrency. I've always loved that name, cryptocurrency. Uh, if you want to send me some Bitcoin, I have no idea how you do that. Uh, but you can email me at collapsechronicles at gmail.com and uh, we will figure it out. Okay. Does anybody understand the connection between that article and this bounty of homegrown organic veggies sitting in front of me and the little dog yet? Okay. If, if you haven't figured it out yet, let's go over. And guys, uh, I, I know what I'm getting ready to do sounds like a corona panic story. I, I can't avoid uh, this, but, but what I'm getting ready to share with you has virtually nothing to do with corona panic uh, and everything to do with this bounty of organic veggies in front of you. Uh, as I'm reading through this story, I just want, it makes absolutely no difference whether you think Corona Panic is a bad hair day compared to, compared to what is getting ready to kick us in our collective guilty asses. Okay, this is Sam Mitchell compared to uh, whether you think it's a bad hair day or whether you believe Corona Panic uh, is the single biggest threat to both humanity and the planet and should be the number one story on planet Earth is irrelevant to the what is really going on behind this story and the dots connecting to this pile of veggies in front of me. It has, it, 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 your opinion of Corona Panic has nothing to do with what I'm talking about here. Well, let's go over to Costco. This is from Business Insider. Costco shoppers say some stores are out of toilet paper 
and water as evidence mounts that consumers may stockpile items amid the spread of the Delta variant. We're going from uh, the C word to the D word. Um, okay, take it away, Business Insider, and try to con connect some dots between Costco shoppers and this pile of uh, beautiful, delicious, uh, homegrown, organic produce grown here at Bugs in a Jar Farm and picked this morning. <clears throat> Costco shoppers say some stores are out of toilet paper and water as research indicates that U.S. consumers are considering stocking up on essentials amid the spread of the Delta variant. Dozens of Costco shoppers have complained on Twitter about product shortages and restrictions on the numbers of products they can buy. Grocery stores imposed restrictions early in the corona panic to stop people from panic buying. Panic buying and depleting stocks. This is one customer on Twitter, quote, did we not learn from last year at all? I pulled up to Costco and they are out of toilet paper and water. These people never learn. Mm -hmm. One customer from California said these shortages could be a quote, sign of the times to come. And that is uh, the most intelligent uh, uh, comment you're going to read in anywhere. Yes, uh, toilet paper and water shortages could be a sign of the times to come. Yes, when the real bad hair day gets here. Uh, other customers pointed out that the warehouse club is placing limits on the number of packages of toilet paper that each person can buy, preventing people from stockpiling. Yes, Business Insider reached out to Costco for comment, but did not immediately hear back. Yes, and then they run through a bunch of tweets. Uh, there is some evidence that shoppers are now thinking about stockpiling again as corona panic infections climb in the U.S. As at the start of uh, the pandemic in March 2020, Costco stores and all every other store were overrun with members bulk buying goods. In tweets dating back to July, Costco customers said they plan to stockpile essential items such as toilet paper to prepare for the worst. Yes. Stockpiling toilet paper to prepare for the worst. <clears throat> this, is, this is prepping in the end times, stocking up on toilet paper. Quote, I swung by Costco today to pick up toilet paper. I'm ready for another lockdown. Yes, another tweet headed to Costco, and I'm buying all the damn toilet paper. There you go. A recent survey from analytics firm Inmar Intelligence uh, found that 69.4% of the 1,000 adults surveyed said they would consider replenishing current stockpiles of groceries and essentials as the Delta variant surges. <clears throat> consumer, consumer stockpiling could become an even bigger issue for grocery stores now than earlier in the corona panic because retailers are grappling with ongoing supply chain and labor issues. 
the problems are leading to long delays and shortages and forcing prices upward. Because of this, grocery chains are also stockpiling goods to shield themselves from price increases and protect margins, uh, said David Smith, CEO of Associated Wholesale Grocers, quote, our inventories are up significantly over the same period last year. We are buying a lot of everything. He said, we are buying a lot of everything. So if anybody is still scratching their heads, what, what are the dots that Sam is trying to uh, draw between uh, those between the Bitcoin and toilet paper shortage uh, articles and this beautiful pile of organic uh, veggies in front of them uh, in front of him. But uh, you know, can you say greed and fear if you want to see uh, why humanity is doomed? As, uh, as, as everything goes to hell in a handbasket on this planet, there are two immediate default positions, fear and greed. I, you know, I'm wondering, you know, reading these tweets and, uh, and, and all of these Bitcoin investors, I wonder how many of those people, you know, running to Costco, freaking out that they're not going to be able to wipe their butt uh, have ever planted, have ever grown one tomato plant in their life? You know, one tomato plant. How many of these people mining Bitcoin have ever considered that their little Bitcoin, uh, when this when uh, this shit show blows up and this house of cards comes down, their little five hundred thousand dollar Bitcoins uh, would not buy one tomato from my garden, and you can't even turn Bitcoin into bullets. Uh, th th this whole thing uh, about these greedy bastards. Uh, you know, Bitcoin mining. Uh, it, 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 if, if I had to, it, you know, what, one of the major signs of collapse, uh, I don't know which of the major signs of collapse that Bitcoin mining uh, is just the latest version of. Uh, which one of them? I'm sure James Howard Kunstler uh, could explain to me which how many boxes does Bitcoin mining check off when you're looking at the collapse of all other, you know, you know, it's greed. It's everybody is going to be thinking of number one, uh, it's numero uno, and, and grabbing all the Bitcoin and toilet paper they can while never occurring, never entering their heads that maybe they should be learning how to grow food. Uh, it, it's not rocket science. Okay, guys, uh, look at me. Uh, this right here is about $10 worth of seeds. Uh, and, 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 the, and the ultimate tragedy of this is I'm going to be throwing away it minimally half of... Uh, half of what I'm growing in this garden is going to go directly in the garbage. I, I couldn't give this away. If I put an ad on Craigslist today trying to give this stuff away, I would say 20% of it would end up in the compost pile. Uh, I, I mean, I personally can eat a tiny amount of this. Uh, and anybody uh, in the Finger Lakes, you, you know, within an hour of, uh, of Ithaca, New York, well, Candor, New York, come and get it. Anyway, I got to wrap this up because uh, I have a BLT with my name on it. 
and uh, then we got to get ready to uh, sandbag the house, I guess. Get out there and grab all the toilet paper you can while you still can because uh, your unwiped ass is going to be the last thing on your mind soon enough.